That's Graham. It's Josh. Oh, that's Greg over there. Ah, Dave. Are you watching the video on TireTac.com? It's Tokyo Police Club. If you uh, have the proper 3D vision goggles, you can enjoy this experience in all three dimensions. So welcome. <laughs> you. <laughs> Day that things kind of started to change? Uh, for, for the beginning of Faber Drive, it was pretty much when uh, uh, I was in another band called Seed for a while, and basically all my old band was just split. They, just, they quit the band, they ended up getting married and girlfriends and whatever, and uh, I was just like, fuck this, like, I, I'm, not, I'm not stopping. So that day I actually phoned, um, the, it was Nickelback's producer at the time, right. his name's Joey Moy. And, uh, and basically, I, I found his I found the studio that he worked at, got a hold of the manager of the studio, and basically hunted him down until um, <clears throat> until I found him. And I bugged him for about six months before he said he'd work with me. Wow. And that's pretty much the start of Favor Drive. Recording or, or live touring? What do you prefer? The live is like it's an adrenaline rush. Yeah, complete adrenaline rush. Uh, recording in a studio is sweat, blood, sweat, and tears. Like we sit there, like I was saying before, we take all of our songs, we put them through the ringer, we put them through the washing machine, we put them through the dryer, we put them on the stove, we cook them up. We try every angle on our songs to make it work, to make it the best the song can be. That's basically what it is in the studio. I mean, the, the rush of being on stage when you're in front of all the fans, well, there's nothing compared to that. So, I, I would say, for me personally, I would really? say too many. True rock band, right here. For me, no, for me, it's recording. I, if I had to pick, I had to pick, there's Engineer. only one thing I could do for the rest of my life. There you go. Know. Completely. <laughs> it's awesome and it's no, fantastic. This tonight's show might kind of put me on the scale again, though, but uh, there's something about being able to like go in a studio and, and come out with like, Four minutes of yeah. what you think is just you know like the best you could do for that song is just oh, yeah. and then you can listen to it five hundred times on repeat, exactly. which is awesome. And you should do the same at home. What's next for you guys? Touring. Uh, we're trying to break into the rest of the world right now. We're looking at uh, record deals in Japan, Australia, South America, um, or sorry, Asia, and more so than just Japan. But Japan's probably the one that we want to go to first. Yeah. Um, but as soon as we're done this tour, we're seeing plenty of a couple of headlining dates we're doing. We're doing something special for YTV coming up. Really excited about that. Canada's Wonderland. Yeah, you guys are both Ontario boys. Yeah. You know both. You know both Canada's Wonderland. Wicked. The drop zone, I hate it. <laughs> I will never do it again. And then right after that, we're sitting down recording. We're sorry, uh, writing and then recording the next record. Really excited about that. We're going to have it out hopefully by next spring or summer. Awesome. Got well, a couple names guys. in mind. No problem, man. Thank you guys so much. Favorite job, guys. Make sure you check them out online and check them out live. They're amazing.